I keep pointing out how misused the term conspiracy is. Uh, and I'm doing this because pe- even I, I see people even in um, whatever you want to call this, people that are supposedly awake will say, and they say, it's not a conspiracy, but these people are really working together to do something bad. But, well, then it is a conspiracy. By definition, the term conspiracy is two or more people getting together to do something nefarious, bad, i.e. a plot. If Steve and I plotted to go rob a 7-Eleven, we would get charged with conspiracy to commit robbery. It's an actual charge. Okay? The term conspiracy theory dates back to the JFK assassination. So people understand this. The definition of the term conspiracy theory okay, is... If I believe that more than one person, i.e. Oswald, was involved in the assassination of President John F. Kennedy. That's what the textbook definition of the label conspiracy theory, which was created by Langley, CIA. Okay? You, they, you, you create a label, you get people to be labeled, and then you can marginalize them. It's a very old trick. And it was created... After the JFK assassination, people like May Russell, Penn Jones Jr., Mark Lane, others, even if they didn't all ag- agree with one another, which they, they haven't over the years, the JFK research community is the same thing as the 9-11 research community and all the rest of them. Not everybody agrees with one another, and that's fine. That's, that makes for intelligent debate, okay, as long as nobody's throwing attacks at one another. But the, the, they were attacked uh, and labeled with an umbrella-type label by the powers that shouldn't be, just like 9-11 truthers are now, okay? And the term conspiracy theorist is misused, but it was first used against these people. And the reason being, because at the time, the government's official story, and to this day, it has is, it is never, ever wavered from this, and that's why any evidence that comes up that uh, refutes this theory gets brushed by the wayside because they can only have a single gunman by definition, their term was attacking people who did not believe that Oswald was a lone gunman. If you believe that Oswald even had a ride to the book depository that knew he was going to kill the president that day, if you believe that Oswald shot Kennedy, which I, I've seen evidence and I've exposed it on this broadcast uh, plenty of times, I've seen enough evidence to say that uh, that's not the case, but even if you believe that Oswald shot the president, if somebody drove him there and the person that was driving him knew about that and you believe that, you're a conspiracy theorist because you're theorizing that more than one individual was involved in the murder of John F. Kennedy. That's where the original term and label comes from. And it's been misused now because now when you say conspiracy theorists, people are like, oh, Bigfoot and UFOs and ghosts and mermaids. And, you know, you think the government pulled off 9-11 and I bet you little Martians, you know, came down and told Bush to do it and all this other garbage. You know what I mean? And, and it's, it's been misused over the years, but the original basis of it is what I just told you and just explained to you. Okay, now, look at how it's misused today. The reason I point this out is so we can, first of all, take back the word conspiracy. We need to take it back because it needs to be used. People are so afraid to use it. No. Conspiracy is a real thing. It's a friggin' charge if you go to court. We need to take the word back and use it and expose this for what it is. It's a conspiracy And it's time to take that label that they created all that time ago and twist it around on them. Okay? We need to take our power back. And that is why I point this out. 